On this episode of Where Are They Now, we take a look at Vic Neufeld, the former CEO of Canadian cannabis company Afria Inc., now known as Tilray Inc. Vic Neufeld's journey to a top position at Afria, one of Canada's biggest licensed producers, was no accident and in fact followed a deep history in an executive position in the health and wellness space. In 1993, Neufeld co-founded a pharmaceutical company called Jameson Laboratories, which produces vitamins and other nutritional supplements. When Neufeld took over the reins at Jameson, the company was only valued at $20 million and had 98 employees and four executives. However, in the 20 years after co-founding Jameson Laboratories, Neufeld had grown the company into one of Canada's largest natural health product companies in North America. And in 2014, upon Neufeld's exit, Jameson's was sold to CCMP Capital Advisors LLC for over $300 million. Upon joining Afria in May 2014, the Canadian cannabis industry was still in its early days. At the time, it consisted of just a few thousand medical patients across the country, and the adult use recreational market was not yet legal. But in April 2017, the Canadian government introduced Bill C-45, also known as the Cannabis Act, which aimed to legalize the recreational use of cannabis across Canada. Then, in June 2018, Bill C-45 received royal assent, officially legalizing the possession and consumption of cannabis flour for adults over the age of 18 or 19, depending on the province. And finally, on October 17, 2018, the consumption and use of cannabis became legal for recreational use across Canada. Throughout this time, shares of Afria, along with many Canadian cannabis stocks, soared in the lead-up to Canadian legalization. Shortly after going public in December 2014, shares of Afria were trading at 75 cents, the same year Vic Neufeld took over as CEO. By the time Canadian legalization arrived, Afria shares were trading at $19.45 per share, more than 26 times the original IPO price. But unfortunately, while the Canadian cannabis market made fortunes for many investors, the good times would not last. With rampant oversupply, overinvestment in cannabis cultivation facilities, and falling retail prices, licensed producers saw their stock plummet following Canadian legalization. Afria shares were also rocked by a short seller report in December 2018, which questioned the quality of company assets and acquisitions in foreign markets. Neufeld would step down as CEO soon thereafter, citing the toll the past five years had taken on his health and personal life. Following his retirement, though, he continued to serve as a strategic advisor to the company until his retirement from that position in June 2021. So, where is Vic Neufeld now? After retiring from his strategic advisor position at Afria in 2021, Neufeld joined the board of directors of at least two companies, psychedelic wellness companies Have and Life Sciences and HYTN Innovations Inc. Currently, though, Vic Neufeld is no longer associated with either company, having resigned from his board position at HYTN Innovations on April 12, 2023. His LinkedIn profile also indicates no new experience following his resignation as CEO of Afria and is currently listed as a retired executive. Overall, Mr. Neufeld has taken a low-profile approach, conducting few interviews following his tenure at Afria. Though he may no longer be in the public eye, Vic Neufeld will always be remembered as one of the most high-profile and relatable cannabis executives during the great Canadian cannabis bull market. Is there someone in the industry that you're interested in knowing where they are now? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you're always in the know.